Hey there, everyone. I hope that all is going well. And this morning, as we have started a new week yesterday, ended a, an amazing weekend. I know, um, I hope each one of us have, have soaked up the meaning of Easter and the way that God has intended us to. I know that it is an amazing thing to think about how, how Jesus took the sacrifice and, and died for us. Friday, and then as we get to remember his resurrection morning on Easter morning, just bringing us closer to what we know is the truth of his return. And I just love savoring that he is risen. Now, in that vein, I thought it would be good to just have a little um, note that I wanted to share with you, something that's kind of dear to my heart, actually, and I just wanted to encourage us in this way. It was an encouragement to me to go over and think of these things, um, and so I just wanted to share this with you. So, you know me. You know that uh, I love taking pictures of my two, uh, Sam and Maddie. They uh, are my um, lovely assistants for, for photo shoots and everything. And uh, though they have not always um, been happy to do it, they look like they're happy, right? Well, that's because I don't have a magic wand, but I do know how to bribe. And uh, I just want to make that very clear. So that way my friends, especially my mom friends, know that uh, I have no magic, but the magic of bribery, which is, you know, nothing wrong with that here and there. So one of my favorite, favorite photo shoots that I've done is now actually been quite a while ago. And, and uh, it was this time of the year, it was green and lush outside. And I just thought, oh, I've got to have some, some pictures of my two because, you know, it just got to have. So here's the beginning of, of one of the photo shoots. And uh, I just enjoy putting them together. And of course, uh, they are goofy, silly. This is back in 2012. And uh, love those smiles, love those blue eyes, love that toe headed blondish red, strawberry red. And uh, they just got the best spirit in them. And it always leads to silliness and fun, fun, uh, exciting interactions that I get to witness. And so it's just, it's great to see how they are as brother and sister. They naturally love to to just uh, crack up and, and have fun and everything. So I always enjoy seeing that. One of my favorite things that I get to witness with them, and it just has kept going and going over the years, um, is to see how they lean on each other, how they carry each other, how they take care of each other, how they hold each other. And, and I just love that, that they do this with each other, for each other. And this is, one of my most favorite pictures is this carrying. And so I just wanted to share something with you that just really developed as I was doing this photo shoot with my kids. Something deeper actually developed in my heart from it. And this is love, that we carry each other to Jesus. So back in 2012, on that beautiful spring morning, the blooms on the trees were many and the green was just peeking through on the grass. And on such a day, I decided to have my kids dress up and do an impromptu photo shoot. And like I said, I do that every now and then. I just, you know, my heart, my mama's heart gets overwhelmed with how fast these two are growing up. And I just have to keep adding to my picture uh, memory box so that way I don't forget. It was a great day to slow life down and just be. I led my kids to our apple orchard out front for a while and had them snuggle up and be cheek to cheek and kind of, you know, do the warm up thing because photo shoots take a little while to warm up in, especially with kids. And I just let them talk and tell jokes. And of course, you know, they're very good at that with each other. They're very good talkers. They're very good jokesters. And uh, I think they like to outdo each other. It's really, really fun. They play with the grass and they sit and they don't just, um, you know, just sit there and, and do nothing. You know, they really do kind of just take each other in. Now, as a photographer, I don't like to stay with one spot. So um, 
as I led them to the next background, it was to the cherry tree that I showed you in the pictures. It was in full glory, full beauty. Oh, it was heavenly. Loved it. This full bloom. The kids were laughing, smiling, making funny faces as they climbed around the limbs and they peered back through to me. And uh, their faces are precious to me. I love it when they get this way and just let me enjoy clicking away. And oftentimes I think that I do become just part of the background to them, that they just become uh, immersed in their own world while I click away. And I love that. After a while, I decide that it would be great to have my son carry my daughter and walk around the back part of our land where the mossy green carpet lays. And ooh, that green carpet just speaks to me. I just love it. it makes me think of Psalms 23. I watch as he picks her up. He's still becoming a strong man. So it was somewhat clumsy. But he does it and carries her while walking towards the hay field, just starting to grow. And they talk while he carries. She holds tight. I watch as his tender feet find placement, for it hurts when he steps in the wrong spot, a sacrifice in carrying her. I notice how they both hang on to each other to do this thing that I have asked them to do. And time stands still as I watch and savor and click away. They grow tired in holding on, carrying, but press at my bidding, finding the strength. They encourage each other verbally not to let go and not give up in their youthful way. And as I'm watching my children, I knew I was also watching something more. This wasn't just a picture of my kids. It's a picture of family and friends that I know who carry each other in happy times, hard times, in times of need, and sacrifice to do so. I see a picture of encouragement and prayer lifting one another up. A call, a text, a card, time spent together, sharing with one another the lives God has called us in, pressing in to lift each other up in a sacred journey where we often don't feel so sacred. Though each of us is unique in our life calling that God has given, as believers of the one true God, we have a common bond that no other shares, understands, and sympathizes in. The Bible says, but encourage one another day after day, as long as it is still called today, so that none of you will be hardened by the deceitfulness of sin. One of my favorite stories in the Bible is found in Luke 5, the call to carry. I see these four friends who took the lame man, their beloved friend, to Jesus and threw a thatched roof with great effort, letting no obstacle get in their way. They lowered their friend they had carried to Jesus' feet. Encourage the faint-hearted. Help the weak, Thessalonians says. Each of us are called to, therefore, encourage one another and build up one another. In Galatians, it says, do not grow weary in doing good. And I love this last verse found in Romans. And Paul keeps building and building and building through all of his, his writing. And this one just is the pinnacle for me. Be devoted, devoted to one another in love. Outdo one another in showing honor. Many times I have found that though I may tire in caring, there is an incredible strength that surges through me as I participate in hanging on to the ones I love. Even more, I discovered during this snapshot in time that I was enjoying is a picture of Jesus carrying you and me to our Heavenly Father. As you think about what we've thought about over the weekend, as he has risen, as maybe you think of your own pictures of your own family in your own mind, about those who have carried you, 
friends who have carried you and those that you have carried. I pray that as brothers and sisters, we continue to lift each other up and carry one another to the throne of grace. What a precious picture of Jesus to give to each other, right? It is an incredible privilege in these last days to carry one another in love to our Heavenly Father. Let us hang on tight to each other.